All right. So where were we? I don't even remember where we were. Let's just play the scene and see what we have. Oh, okay. So I think I need to change the bullets because these suck and also it needs to be a trigger. Um, what's with the background? Okay. Let's see why there's like a black background around it first. So here's the material. Mm -hmm. Unlit laser shader. Oh, it's not even a URP. But that should be fine. But should I change it to shader graph? Maybe. Yeah, I'm, let's change this to, to, to uh, shader graph. Right lit, and then uh, hmm. okay. So we need a texture 2D and where can I move this? Don't need this one. Maximize, okay. Yeah. Quad main text. And then color, color is fine. Do we sample our texture? So we have the white texture. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really need the texture. So just anything works. Uh, what's the most generic texture I have? I should have some sort of white rectangle. Yeah, large square. Okay, that works. Uh, let's drag this here and then not use it. Um, Okay, what else do I use? So I use the UV. So input UV is no. Yeah, that's fine. And then custom function maybe. I've never used this one, but I know that I can write code with it. How do I open it? Oh yeah, here, inputs, outputs. Um, string. <laughs> Why not? Um, okay, and 
and what do we have for input? We need a UV, so vector 2 is fine. Sorry. Um, what else do we need? We need time, I guess, yeah. So time is a four dimensional, so we use we use all dimensions of all four dimensions of time. So let's uh, bring in a uh, vector four. Or um, do I really even need it as input? Maybe it just works by itself. Yeah, because it's a unity thing. Okay, let's just not do it and see if I get a compiler. Okay, so other than UV, I don't really use anything else. Sure, yeah, we use direction as well. So what is direction? It's a uniform float. Let's say it's one. I don't know. Um, okay. So we we sample the texture too, but do we really use it? What texture do I use for the the one that I'm using already? Um, laser material. There's no texture here. It's just. Hmm. I don't think. I, I mean, I shouldn't even. There shouldn't be anything that's being used as a texture. Okay. So, already the red component goes away. And then. Um, if it's outside the boundaries, everything goes away. Other white, and the texture is white. Yeah, I just forgot that it was white. So we just, we, we start with white. We don't really need to sample anything. Okay, back to it, so. Fixed for color is syntax. Uh, like this. Okay. Um, I don't even remember HLSL anymore. Definitely not it. <laughs> Man. Does it work like this, by the way? Nope. Oh, because it's fixed. Does it mean that it doesn't, it's not a floating point maybe? 
Is that what the problem is? No. By the way, I, I should have kept UV and deleted time. So. I should just look up the documentation. Um, shader. Function. Okay. So output, let's say output is a V four and then out equals um, Oh, it's float for yeah. It's not declared because this has to be named out, maybe. Yay! All right. Okay. Anyway, so where were we? Um. Okay, let's say float thickness is 0.02f and then and then float direction is 1f or something and if direction is so we just want the horizontal part, right? Thickness plus equals ABS. Okay, now we connect UV to UV. 